Hi, I'm Terry and I'm here at the Sonoma Community Center and I'm going to show you the process we use to reclaim our clay, pug it, rebag it, and then we sell it as our own custom remix. All right, so this is where we keep our reclaimed clay. We get the wet slurry. And to get that into our drying bats, I use my hand and I just scoop out the raw material and fill the bat. Let the bats wick the moisture out of the clay. It takes a couple days. Each monitor should come in on their shift and look. If the, if the clay looks like it is separating from the edges, we flip it over until it dries out to a consistency that's workable. So then we would take the workable clay and we'd make it into two handful size balls and we would put it in one of our storage bins that holds our workable clay. We load the pug machine, opening the trigger, which is like a vice grip, and you just drop that down. So we're putting in various wetness of clay. This is pretty much like you would work with straight out of the bag, so this is pretty good clay to work with, but because we're working with all stages, we may have super wet, or we may have even old bagged clay. You want to get a consistency of something that you would normally work with straight out of a commercial bag. And you just gotta kind of do it by touch and feel until you get a consistency that's going to be workable as a normal bag of clay. So you have the controls here, which are basically stop, mix, pug, and vacuum. And so just by adding clay, when we want to mix it, we're just going to hit the mix button. The metal arms in there are basically mixing the clay together so that you're going to get a consistent mix. It takes several times to fill the machine because the machine is quite big. You can't just fill it all at once. And we will open it and we lift this up. And so it's not completely full, as you can see down here. There's more room. So we'll add some more clay. So I'll close it again. Sometimes you have to put your weight on it to close it. And then you just hit mix. We mix for probably 10, 15 minutes and then I turn it off and I check it to see if it's got to our consistency of what we want. So this is pretty good. It's not sticking to my fingers. It's holding up. So it's in pretty good shape. You want it as full as you can get it. So now we're gonna pug it. So we make sure that we have a clean seal. We use our sponge around the seals. There's a seal here that needs to be clean and moist. And there's a seal here. This is a clean out. So you want to make sure the seal is clean and moist. Okay, so once we've got the three openings moist and clean, we close the hopper box, pull the switch, the lock switch. Then we are going to mix and vacuum for 10 to 15 minutes to de-air the clay. So I'm going to turn on the mixer and switch on the vacuum. This last valve needs to be closed as well. You start to see the negative pressure building up inside the canister and it'll get to about 10 or 15. And that's what we want to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. So after about 15 minutes of uh, mixing, and de-airing or using the vacuum, we can now uh, to pug the clay. And how we do that is we basically stop the mixing. So we press stop. We're gonna leave the vacuum running while we pug. So pug basically turns the blades the opposite direction from when you were mixing. And it will push the clay out of the pug machine or pug the clay. So if I switch to pug, we're going to start seeing clay come out of here and we're going to cut off an 8 inch 
pieces here, the clay, and we'll get three clay sections and we'll put those in the bag and that's approximately 25 pounds. And that's what we sell in a, in a, in a remix bag. Now I'm going to bag the clay. So we have three eight inch rounds or logs. Get as much air as possible. Sometimes if it's a drier mix, I'll put a little bit of, just spray a little bit of water in so it stays moist, keeps it moist. Then we take some twine and I basically pick it up and spin it so it makes a nice tight bind. And I just tie a bow tie and put it over here and start the process again. So we turn off the vacuum and we use this valve over here to let the pressure out of the canister. Both mixing and pugs are off. So you can see that we've gone through a majority of the clay. So we want to make sure again that this is clean before we start filling it. We'll leave that open. And then we go to here this is a chamber in the back that will fill up with clay. Got to make sure that the machine is off when you put your arm in here and has the, date, the gate open, the, the hopper gate open, because this has an automatic kill switch. As long as this is open, it will not be able to turn on. And you need to clean that out. So there's some dry clay in here that we'll pull out. We'll just use this. We'll put this in our reclaim. So we have these reservoirs of clay that's ready to go in the bats. So it's a cycle rotation. So again, when you're cleaning, you want to make sure that we're cleaning the seals, cleaning this box out every time of any wet or dry clay that's in there, and make sure that this is put back and the seal is clean.